Welcome to the next video in the Terraform with Azure series. We are still trying to understand the Terraform syntax and the other way of uh, using the code. In the previous video, we talked about the Terraform modules, how to create modules, because those are very important as per the production environment or a real environment prospect. So uh, today we are going to talk about Terraform registry, which is something uh, very important to understand because those codes has already been returned. So it is it is more like if something has already been returned and you know how to how to write a code so rather writing it again and again it's better to utilize the modules and registry well registry is uh, in a simple word are the modules which are already been created by uh, community members or a lot of people who are working on the terraform and there are uh, certified or verified not the certified but the verified modules that you can easily use so in today's video we'll be talking about uh, terraform registry and how to use it so let me minimize this window so i was just going through this you need to go to terraform.io go to docs go to registry under registry terraform registry now here you need to browse the modules well registry is a repository where all the you, you see that yellow tick mark all the verified modules are put together so that people can utilize it so you just need to change the provider as per your need we are for sure gonna use Azure RM so there's so many modules already been created you can see right here right so uh, let's try to utilize network module from the Terraform registry. I hope that makes sense. The registry is kind of container where you have put all kind of modules and you can source it because it's available for you and it is verified. So uh, this is the network Azure RM and you can see there are different ways you can utilize it. These are the inputs that you can change as per your need, their outputs, there are resources. We got three resources that we use: resource group, network, subnet. Okay, you can use it this way. So let's try to understand how can we use this module to create a virtual network. Now we guys are working through Azure. It's been a while, so we know we need what we need for the a virtual network. We need a resource group for sure. We need a location. We need subnets. We need virtual network ciders, virtual network name. These kind of information we need, and we can modify those information as per our uh, requirement or our environment. So let me go ahead and create a Terraform file. Let me make it registry.tf or, uh, oh sorry, uh, registry.tf. Okay, now I didn't have to do anything. I just need to copy the code from here. You see, copy it, get back to your VS code, paste it here. Now, you can see source is this module. So it is going to knock the registry's door to talk to this network and get this information because code has already been returned and these are the variables in that code which it is uh, contacting with the help of registry and modules but these are the variables that you can change as per your need so let's try to initiate if it works if it works then we'll see how can we change it for example I can change these right now my app I can make it tf or anything tf01 let's suppose uh, west us i can change it to east us uh, side range Th that would be enough to do the testing right so let me do terraform in it hope it should in initialized without any issue or be prior to that i think uh, let me cancel this and let me do the login to the Azure portal, right? Like, uh, that was the issue. I was not logged in, but now I am. 
you can see we are logged in now let me clear this out okay now we have the code from the registry we got the tf file created and put in the code here there's the source and all of the information let me go ahead and initiate it now it should initiate yeah it is so it is working very good now let me plan it terraform plan okay now it will it should read the module and put this information that we have here we did some changes right so hopes it will give us all the information without any error or issues all right let's wait for a few more seconds and we would have the information and meanwhile okay, okay it is here so you can see under the virtual network we have the cider east us because we changed it here let me check the name of resource group the subnets right and come on come on come on resource group is the my app tf01 because we changed it here uh, but i see a account vnet virtual network name i don't see it here but it is there so we need to change the virtual network name as per our need or the requirements. So what can we do? Let's go ahead, minimize it, get back to the Terraform registry. That's the registry, that's the readme inputs. Here are all the variables that we can select and there we go, vnet name. It's vnet underscore name. Let me go ahead quickly, let's copy it rather typing it down vnet name there it is all right let me put it here vnet name and i want to name it what what's your name batman again okay all right uh, it should be auto save yes it is let me do it terraform uh, apply oh sorry plan and it should have this vnet information now not the other one okay there we go resource group name location environment batman we can see here right here batman so that's how you can utilize the registry you can change the information now you can see the beauty you need not to go ahead and dig out all the resource types and write the code from the scratch but you just need to go through the registry check out all the modules which are present there and hopefully if you are working on the uh, usual kind of uh, environment and code uh, you can easily find all the modules uh, but if there is something that uh, that is new you can write it by yourself you know how to write the code we have covered a lot of syntax uh, and a lot of other uh, code creation videos so i hope this would be a learning experience for you and uh, next video we'll be talking about the layered approach for the terraform code in the production environment it would be a very important thing uh, if you have not started working on the production or you're a big night would help you all right. Thank you. Let's meet in another video. You have a good day. Bye-bye.